Hi, I'm back now. I have allowed the background to dry and I've started a little piece of the design already so that I can show you the other half. And I am using one of the new duets, the Tango. And these brushes are so fun because I've got a filbert on one side and I've got a round brush on the other. So when I'm painting it actually saves time. I can go from one side right into the other with no problem. So I've got a little butterfly that I just drew on to my piece here and I'm going to start with some white acrylic paint and put that on the filbert and fill in my butterfly. So I loosen the paint, about half paint, half water, so that it'll flow off the brush nicely and I'm just going to go right around the curve in the butterfly here. That's where the filbert brush comes in really handy is a rounded edge brush for a rounded edge part of your design. And get that filled in. Uh, that'll allow my other colors to show up better as well. And just turn your piece to whatever makes it easier. And just right around, just fill in all of the butterfly wing and I can touch up the center of my design after two. Lots of paint. Then the nice part about this is now I can go right into the rest of the decorative part of my design by flipping the brush and using the other end, the round. And I'm going to start with some of my green paint and start decorating and really you can decorate the butterflies any way you want. I'm just going to get some green edges, the round brush, I just apply pressure and then I release pressure as I come away or come out of the curve. Adding some green edges to my butterfly. You can have fun with whatever colors you want. and a little more on the inside and then I want to get some color on the inside as well so I'm going to do almost like a little heart shape and just fill that in using the round brush and a little bit more of an almond shape for the bottom and get a couple of strokes in the bottom of the petals also a little bit more like a comma stroke Apply pressure, release pressure as you pull away. Okay, and rinse my brush. I'm going to rinse both ends now. Make sure that I really don't want to let paint dry in the bristles. So you do want to rinse that paint out of there often. Okay, then I can add some pink. And what I had was I had some, uh, it's a Quinoc. Quinacridon color and I'm just going to add some white into it to make a pink. You certainly could pick up any kind of a pink already pre-mixed. A little bit of water into that so that it flows nicely off the brush. And I'm going to put some comma strokes inside of the green area for a little bit more color. Apply pressure and release. And I like to pick up after every stroke. So I have lots of color. Okay, and rinse the brush. Okay, now for the very center of my butterfly, I already coated it with some white, but I want to color in there. So I think I'm going to make a pink body. So I'll flip over to the filbert end of the brush again. Apply pressure, and I'm going to give it a twist as I come away into the thinner part of the body. Okay, then I'm ready to go ahead and do some decorating. And I'm just going to use the round end of the brush, thin down my black so that it's nice and soupy, lots of water. Kind of get a little bit of extra off of the brush itself. And I'm going to use this to outline the butterfly. That'll really help it to stand out against this background. So this time I'm just using the very tip of the brush and no pressure. Outline all the edges of the wings. Just kind of let the 
paint flow off the tip of the brush. And just keep adding more paint as I go. And a real, real, real light touch. Don't put any pressure down. I'll clean up that side along the edge of the body and add some little black strokes inside on the I picked up a little bit of color. I'm going to let that area dry just a little bit more and come back to it. So I was picking up some of my pink paint and outline this other one and I'm going to add a little curl but I do wait till that green is a little bit drier before I add the curl in there so I can kind of skip around and just get the areas that are a little drier than others Let's see if I can get the curl going in here a little bit more paint on that brush you want it to really just kind of flow right off of the tip real thin ink like consistency there we go. Now for making dots with this brush you really want it to be nice and soupy and I'm going to get the extra off of the brush but go back and just kind of scoop up on the very very tip of the brush so that when I just hold the brush up as high as you can straight up and down let that paint just kind of flow right off the tip you're going to have to reload often and get your little dots Dots are always fun little accents that you can add on to anything. So this is just kind of a real quick little easy design for a fun little door hanger. Let's see if I can just a few more. And then we've got all the wings done. Let's see if I can put that little curl back in there now. There we go and I've got an antenna that I need to finish up on the top there again just use the very tip of the brush don't put any pressure down and if you have to stop and reload or stop and reposition that's okay fill it in a little bit more give it a little bit more of a little round dot at the end of the antenna and you could decorate the body if you wanted to, but let's go ahead and get the lettering in next. Same real soupy consistency, and you're just going to go right over some lettering. Now, if you want nice, even lettering, you could actually print out the letters from your computer and then trace them on to the piece. I just used a pencil and drew them on. but you could transfer them with some graphite paper if you want them to be perfect but sometimes the hand done look is just kind of fun so a little bit more we'll do I'm sleeping get the S and you could go back and clean this up or you could go back and add another color next to each of these you could add dots all over the inside of the design. Just kind of have fun playing and adding little ideas throughout the background. I have a drip of water I'm going to get rid of there. Okay, just no pressure when you're using this. Let the paint just kind of flow off the tip of the brush. there okay and then you could have fun decorating the top half with little dots or little strokes or even just a outline of color um, a little lacy um, border maybe so if I take the filbert end and take the green and I just kind of pull I can make a little kind of a lacy green border going around and it just adds a little extra color into the design.
and all I'm doing is setting down the filbert brush and pulling in just making it the width of the design I did have a little bit of water into the paint color and I think we'll call it done.